Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Drones versus Guatemalan volcanoes. Drones enhance 2017 Boston Marathon security. And AUVSI and ANN announce Expo 17 Live. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Drones do wind up in some of the most amazing places, as evidenced by the University of Bristol and Cambridge and their team of volcanologists and engineers who use the UAVs to collect measurements from directly within volcanic clouds, along with visual and thermal images of inaccessible volcano peaks. As part of a 10-day research trip, the team carried out proof-of-concept flights at and over summits of Guatemala's Volcan de Fuego and Volcan de Pacaya. Specialized sensors measured temperature, humidity, and thermal data within the volcanic clouds and took images of multiple eruptions in real time, which is scary stuff if you're a human being, but not so much to a drone. The university teams report that this is one of the first times that UAVs have been used at a volcano such as Fuego, where the lack of close access to the summit vent has prevented robust gas measurements. Funding from the Cabot Institute helped the team to develop the methodology where the UAVs were successfully flown beyond visual line of sight at distances of up to 8 kilometers and some 10,000 feet above the launch site. A return to the volcanoes is planned for later this year, but with a more extensive sensor suite. We'll keep you updated. You're watching Airborne Unmanned on Aero TV. We'll be back with more in a moment. Hi, I'm Brian Nguyen, President and CEO of AUVSI, inviting you to witness the evolution of unmanned technologies at AUVSI's Exponential 2017 on May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. Exponential is the premier trade event dedicated to drones and robotics. See more than 650 manufacturers and solution providers in the largest exhibit hall this industry has to offer. Join us for more than 200 hours of sessions on key topics and issues such as commercial unmanned applications, public policy and legislation, beyond visual line of sight operations, counter UAS systems, data management, women and diversity in robotics, and much, much more. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Eight U.S. states will exhibit at Exponential 2017 with pavilions that highlight the business innovators and opportunities in their communities. The states that will be represented are Colorado, Kansas, Maryland, Nevada, North Dakota, Ohio, Texas, and Utah. Exponential 2017 takes place at the Dallas K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center from May 8th through the 11th, 2017. The Navy's MQ-8C Fire Scout UAS has completed initial testing aboard the USS Montgomery. Launch and recovery procedures, as well as interoperability with the ship, were all tested and verified. Over seven days, more than 37 recovery evolutions were used to verify the Northrop Grumman UAS's ability to operate without degradation from electromagnetic interference and provide pitch, roll, and wind limits. Dominion Virginia Power, the Mid-Atlantic Aviation Partnership, and Legato Networks demonstrated BV loss power line inspections using a satellite network culminating in a public demonstration that included a visit by Virginia Senator Mark Warner on Wednesday, April 12th. The AeroVironment Puma flew over the lines and then out of sight before returning to land. A drone operator cited for interfering with a rescue operation in California failed to appear in court, and a warrant has been issued for their arrest. The drone pilot was cited by police in January after he allegedly flew near a helicopter attempting a long-line rescue over a Pacifica cliff. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. A tethered drone was part of the security plan at this year's Boston Marathon. Massachusetts-based Sci-Fi Works has disclosed that its tethered drone park is part of the safety and security measures developed for the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency at the 2017 Boston Marathon. 
PARC stands for Persistent Aerial Reconnaissance and Communications. That means that like many of the runners, this drone can fly for a very long time. Quote, think multi-day flights, not the 20-minute hops of the drone you bought last December. This means that for the first time ever, the security team can have access to a real-time HD video stream at their command center operations for the duration of the event, according to the company. It's not the first time the Park drone has been used for marathon security. In February 2016, the Tokyo police asked for Sci-Fi Works' help to ensure all runners safely reach the finish line at the Tokyo Marathon. Quote, we're now being asked to help protect the starting line in our home state, and we're proud to watch our marathon drone as it helps to ensure that the oldest annual marathon in the world stays on top, they added. The world's greatest gathering of all things unmanned will get expert live coverage. AUVSI and ANN have confirmed a multi-hour live interview program series on day two and day three of Exponential 2017, set for May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. The broadcast will be conducted, shared, and viewed as a live webcast as well as archived for future viewing and use. Following coverage of the opening day, Airborne will webcast live interviews on the second and third day of the event. The session will consist of 10 to 12 short interviews with the best and brightest of Expo 17 webcast live via airborne-live.net. Social media programs will support the effort, take questions from the Expo audience, and make programming announcements. Quote, the agenda for Exponential 2017 will feature forward-looking leaders who will share critical insights and best practices for maintaining a competitive edge in the rapidly changing unmanned systems industry. We're pleased that Airborne ANN will be at the show to capture the insightful and thought-provoking programming as it happens, said Brian Nguyen, president and CEO of AUVSI. AUVSI and ANN are building a guest and interview topic list now. Suggestions for the program are welcome and may be submitted via jim at aero-news.net until May 1st, 2017. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at avsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.